It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the New England Patriots and the Tennessee Titans. And it's coming up next. From the capital of Tennessee and of country music, for any of you fans out there, welcome to Nashville. We're at Nissan Stadium. Scott and Brock, let's dive right in. What are you looking forward to in this one? Yeah, just about everything, Kate, but these are two such evenly matched teams. You and I know there's going to be two, three, four plays in this game that will likely define the outcome. That is the beauty of the NFL each and every weekend, each and every Thursday and Sunday and Monday night. They come down to a couple plays. Who will they be? What will they be? When will they be? Tune in and watch. To kick off, here's Ryan Stonehouse. And we're off and running from Nissan Stadium. To return this, Marcus Jones. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So out come the Patriots, ready for their first possession. And they're brought out by someone approaching a decade in the league now, Jacoby Brissett. I think sometimes we hear the term journeyman is negative, but I don't think that's the case for Jacoby Brissett. He's had a wild journey, like a lot of quarterbacks in the NFL, but his journey, well, it returns home to the team that drafted him in 2016, and he's got to use all that experience he's gained to be at his best here in 2024. So their offense out now to get this game started. It's first and 10. First play is to the air. And the connection not quite there yet on his opening throw of the game. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Now the first carry of the game for Ramondre Stevenson. And he finds space for about a three-yard gain. Monty Hooker with the tackle. Field, get what you can with your legs, but so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. Never sets on third and short. Right side and into the hands of Douglas. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Down that brings up second and five. 
Well, half the hay is in the barn when you get five on first down. And now they're in such a good spot where you can attack those other five yards in any way you want. Half point of the marker. It's second and five. From the 42. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Throwing now, Brissett. That one complete to Stevenson. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed. Enough to keep this drive moving. A run for the first time here with Antonio Gibson. And he found a gap to take this down to the 28. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. That's what I call a rhythm starter right there. The offense is love. Execution of plays like that on first down, Kate. Because now, that playbook is wide open. All options on the table for second down. Here's Gibson on second down. Oh, and breaks even, but that's it. Blocked down at that line of scrimmage. Tackled there by Jerome Baker. Nothing gained or lost on that run. And now it's third and three. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. We're set to throw it. It was there, but it couldn't hang on. Incomplete. That one intended for Demario Douglas. And that'll bring up fourth and three. You know, third and short is a difficult one to call. Do you want to run into the teeth of a defense and looking for that handoff? Or try to throw it to him and use the element of surprise? Evidently, well, that's one they should have run instead. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. Turn. Here comes Tajay Spears. And look at this return. And he manages the third and five before they can stop him. So here come the Titans now to get their first drive of the game. And they'll be let out by a player and a string of wins to end his 2023 season. Now in his sixth year, Mason Rudolph. Kid, I think a lot of us around the NFL wondered, was there more in the tank? Was Mason Rudolph's career on fumes? And then he just ignited those Steelers down the stretch. Winning three straight games, making the playoffs, yeah, and keeping that streak of 500 seasons alive up in Pittsburgh. You know what he really showed? He really showed that when given protection, the guy can still spin a football. So it's 
touchdown on the board for him, Brock, because they start this game off a perfect one for one offensively. Yeah, I'm going to call that scripting for success right there. Mm. Can't do it much better than that. And listen, when you script these first plays, you don't always know who the targets are going to be. It's really then relying upon what the defense is trying to take away. They couldn't take away that big old tight end. Nick Folk now for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Titans won up the opposing field goal. They start with seven on their opening drive. Kick this one away. On the return, here's Jones. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. New England taking the field. It's second series of the game coming up. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. Drive starts out with a first and ten. And the shotgun, Brissett. That's taken in by Henry. And he gets him around six there. That was Harold Landry making the tackle. You've heard that very common term in draft vernacular called catching radius. Let me tell you, as a quarterback, you love tight ends on drag rocks because that catching radius for such a big target, and you see him, you eye him. And there's a comfort level between QB and tight end to make that connection. Operating from the gun, Brissett. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll get it up to the 44. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. Set. Henry on the catch. And that's good for a gain of five. Tito Bay, Arousie, they're on the tackle. Offense to the line for second down. To the air yet again, Brissette. Picks him up, and he reminded everyone in the building why that's a major mistake. The linebacker's athleticism on full display. A sack in under two seconds? That's a select group of players on the planet who could pull that off. I wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Here's Brissette. Consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. An individual player taking over a drive isn't limited to just steal players on the offense. Uh-uh. If a defender gets in a groove like this, he can wreck a drive single-handedly with his pass rush. That is back-to-back -back sacks for him now. And it sure seems like whatever move he's throwing out there is working. Patriots punt team coming out to the former sixth rounder Bryce Barringer to do the honors. And he puts together a nice little return there before they're able to bring him down. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And the Titans will get set to take over.
They're set up at the 35 now. To throw it on first down. Has the connection to Ridley. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Kid, I was on the field, the young high school quarterback, just last week. And I told him one of the greatest attributes a quarterback can have is courage. And it takes courage to sit in that pocket that long, let a play develop, and let that receiver work all the way from one side of the field to the other and give him a chance to make a play. Second and three. Hold in by Tyler Boyd. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Pass play coming here. That pass complete to Boyd. And he's across midfield in the Patriot territory. Second and three now. They'll throw it again. Too much lead on that throw. That falls incomplete ahead of his target. This one misses the tight end. And now it's third and short. The offense not shy about sending him downfield to try and stretch that secondary. Even still, one of the deeper targets you'll see him get. It's a shame they couldn't find a connection. Off the play fake, he'll throw. Defense doubled him, knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. A bit surprising, quarterback still threw in that direction with how well that defense had that play covered. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And he got a little too much leg into that one. That's a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity, no doubt. This ball's coming out to the 20. The Patriots running their offense out there. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Reset looking to throw. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. 16 on the pickup. And that's a New England first down. Kate, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. First down, ball at the 36. A give up the middle to Stevenson. We talked to running backs over the years, Kate, the transition from the college game to the pro game. I'll tell you, there's just times in the NFL you've got to run into darkness. You run into a lot of bodies. Perfect example of that on the first down play. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Back to throw, here's Brissett. Short pass, Brian. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Down to the 39. 
Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that's a New England first down. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you're running on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. Going to the ground again on first. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. It's Kenneth Murray on the tackle. We will not get another play in here. That's going to do it for quarter number one. Neither side separating much so far. More from Nissan Stadium coming up after the break. Back and ready now for the second quarter. It's Patriots football. They're advancing it well as they face second down. It's pretty clear, isn't it? It's this constant pressure that this defense has imposed on this offense to keep them out of rhythm and build up this lead. This offense is not going to offer a comeback if this quarterback continues to run for his life. Here's a nickel look by the Titans. Third down. Here's Brissett to throw. We've got a screen to the running back. And he's brought down after a short game. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Well, I sit and judge defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field. Not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. The Patriots have their punting unit out. So this one carries all the way to the sideline and out. No chance to make a play on that. And they'll take over at the 16-yard line. So the Tennessee offense headed out for another series. They didn't add to their lead last time out. So they punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Looking for a target. We'll just hook this one into row C, and some lucky fan is going to haul in a heck of a souvenir. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. The first carry here for Tony Pollard. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. With all these collisions, these running backs take between the tackles. Sure nice to get a little crease on the outside, get in that open field, and let these runners do their thing. Third down, one yard to go. Trying the inside handoff to Pollard. And he's going to be brought down with the 20 yard Pick up of two here. And the Titans will have a first down. Yeah, I get it. Fans will measure a running back's merit by touchdowns, yards, the fantasy football world we live in. But as coaches and teammates, Kate, they want something a little bit more. They want to see plays like that. A guy who will always get the short yards in a critical spot like that. First down, and they go right back to it. And he's contained at the line for no game. Christian Gonzalez getting there for the tackle. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Tight end going in motion here. Second and ten now. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. pass unsuccessful and they have third down here he's dropping back to throw pocket isn't holding up they're able to drop it and the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down 
Send everybody deep. I know he wants to wait and stretch the field and use his arm. The trouble is, you wait too long, you end up on your back. Ryan Stonehouse back out there again to punt it away. Marcus Jones back to return for the Patriots. Oh, it's blocked. The Patriots get there. And how about that? In the end, an unorthodox but still worthy first down pickup. It really is a battle of speed on the punt, Kate. It's why every special teams coach put that clock through practice to time their punt and why every defender knows just how much time they have to get home. What a tremendous effort to earn that block punt. The return couldn't quite finish it off, Brock, but the offense sure can as they begin here first and goal. He's got it on the bootleg. Flushed out of the pocket. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short gain to show for it after sliding down. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. Running the counter, Stevenson. And the hit stops him cold. Wow, he maybe got back to the line. Can't manage even a yard on second goal, and they'll have third and goal from the five. You know, Kate, sometimes football and poker have a lot in common. You don't want to tell at the poker table, and you don't want one at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes it's just it's alignment. It's the way these linemen breathe. It's the blood in their knuckles the defenders read and react to. Them. And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. Well, they scramble back on top of the fumble. They lose a ton, though, and now they've got fourth down coming up. Yeah, recovering it really only brought you one more play. With how much they lost on that play, well, here come the special teams. And now, well, now they got to be special. Joey Sly out for the Patriots field goal try. This 32 yards out on the right hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that cuts the lead back down to a lower point. You know, you look at that third down play, looking back, and it really turns into a three-point play. It's why situational work is so critical. Coaches talk about it all the time. Sure, you love the field goal, but man, they would have loved a touchdown more. Things trim back down to a single point, Brock, as they send this off and away. Julius Chestnut to return. And this drive will start inside the 25. We'll get another look at this Tennessee offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Here's first and ten from the 34. They run the counter to Pollard. And he'll make his way through for a pick of a four. These are the kind of runs, Kate, that just soften up a defense. Keep working on them. Keep working on them. And eventually you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage. Second and six coming up here. Give to Pollard on the option. 
And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. Jelani Tavai ranging in for the stop. He gets a couple, and it'll bring up third down. Pass play now. Forces that one, and it's intercepted. And he takes this one back for the pick six. Well, talk about aggressive coverage, Brock, to have somebody in position for a pick behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, this quarterback is never going to take that short pass for granted again. That is usually one you do in your sleep. He's just now going to be restless in his sleep thinking about it. Joey Sly on for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Patriots push their lead to six. short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. On the return, here comes Spears. This return makes it up to the 25. Out come the Titans for another offensive possession. And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. They're out and set, first and ten. Getting right back to it after that interception. Play didn't break how they wanted it, and he throws this away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to throw now. No luck on the connection. It's incomplete. Intended target was Calvin Ridley. So now it's going to be third and long. right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute they want that one back here comes the titans punting unit and he's going to try to avoid having a second one blocked here and he's certainly been staying busy once again he's out to punt and sends this fly he's got it at the 24 and he's brought down before the return gets far call that a 64 yard punt officially and the pats will take over Here's New England, ready once again on offense. And they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out. Another chance to build on that advantage here. They've got first down from the 31. One play action here, Brissette. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. He's got it. Inside the 25. And he does quite a bit 
some damage before they finally take him down. If only every completion could get that kind of result. That's good enough to knock a defense flat on its back. So a massive gain, and all of a sudden, we've got first and ten inside the red zone. From the red zone now. Pass it down close. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. Shotgun handed out to Gibson. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Okay, I'll never forget walking into the Hall of Famer Dwight Freeney's meeting room with those defensive linemen. The late great John Tierlink, his coach, he had a little sign up in his, in his office, and it was sacks, and that money sign was the S because ends and D linemen make their money with sacks. But you win games when they stop the run like that. And he's into the end zone for a New England touchdown. The Patriots go up by 12. I think we actually saw him call it early there, Brock. He made that throw, and then he signaled it was going to be a touchdown, like a guy calling it before his three-pointer goes through the net. Oh, you mean like Larry Legend Bird Ooh. in the three-point shooting contest of the 80s? Or maybe I like know, a Tyrese you... Maxine, you know. But whatever. Well, I, the kids aren't alive. I get it. And they weren't <laughs> alive in the 80s. They didn't see Larry Legend do it, but he did. And he anticipated, just like the quarterback. Here's Sly to try the point after. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Patriots bump the lead up to 13 points. Set for the kickoff, Sly with the honors. Here's Chestnut on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Titans ready to take over on offense. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They'll start this one on the ground with Pollard. They're working a couple yards past the line. Marte Mapu, the man on the tackle. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. This defense may have been headed the wrong way initially on that counter run, but they never lost contain. As that play shifted back, they flowed with it and caught him before he could break it up the sideline. They go play action here. Try it for the deep ball. Brought in inside the 20. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. Well, sometimes there's nothing you can do but throw your hands up and stare at the ground, partner. He knew he was beat deep, and there was nothing he could do about it. Yeah, and this is one of those just killers, right? These spot fouls. It's yep. fuel for an offense. Often leads to points with a big, explosive play like this. And it could be a morale killer for his defense. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Well, this offense loves to mix where they put their personnel on that chessboard, creating matchup advantage after matchup advantage. One of the many wrinkles is sending the running back out as a wide receiver, and he's proving he's just as dangerous in that role as he is out of the backfield. They give on second to Pollard. 
And he's brought down after a tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. That run good for a gain of two. And just like that, we've hit our two-minute warning. And the Patriots in the nickel for this third down call. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He takes it in. Touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans make it a one-score game before halftime. Calvin Ridley with the touchdown. That is a touchdown to one of their prime receiving targets. This is really what you pay your skill guys for. You know, I had an old coordinator say, it's my job to get you a one-on-one. -on -one. It's your job to go out and win it and win it with a touchdown. Folk on now to try the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Titans get it back to within six. So here's the kickoff, Brock. Just six points now separating our teams. Antonio Gibson now to return it. Finds some space. He's past the 30. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Patriots and K.J. Osborne ready to take over once again on offense. They seem likely to carry the lead into the locker room, but some points here to end the half could make things even more comfortable. Got first down from the 31. On the shotgun, Brissett. He'll get this in Henry. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. He finds 37 yards on the play to move those chains. If only every completion could get that kind of result, that's good enough to knock a defense flat on its back. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. That one falls to the turf, but hang on, it's incomplete. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Second down, here's Brissett again. Going deep for the end zone. He's got it deep downfield. And he scores, it's a New England touchdown. The Patriots grow their lead just before halftime. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Here's Sly to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Patriots bump the lead up to 13 points. All set for the kickoff, Sly with the honors. On the return, here comes Spears. 
And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Titans and receiver Calvin Ridley back out again on offense. They're trailing, but there's enough time, Brock, that they could get a scoring drive to attack that here before the break. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Back now, pressure on its way. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. Now we get a timeout taken by the Titans. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Another try following the sack. Fits it through the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Dropping back to throw. Caught by Westbrook Akine. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Titans in the hurry up trying to get this playoff fast. Here's second and five. This 12-yard hot wrap came to the combine, and, well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. They're set up at the 35 now. Throwing it again here. Pass caught by Ridley. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Lonnie Tavai ranging in for the stop. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Now just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense, and they can try for some points going into the break. Now it's Nick Folk to try the Titans' field goal. It's on the left hash, 46 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that makes things a little closer. It's now a 10-point game. I know. I know. Sometimes we take kickers for granted, but I'll tell you what. You can't hit that any better. Never even flirted with an upright. That was right down the middle. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And that's over the 20, the landing zone, and almost everything else. So that football coming out to the 30-yard line. This is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. Yep, as expected, they go to the ground to start this one off. And he has a decent gain on what's going to be the final play of the half. So we've reached the end of two, and it's the visiting Patriots out in front. Now it's down to Florida, where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit, but first... Time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. 
We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Well, if you love high-scoring games, no doubt you have been glued to your television so far. And no signs of slowing down as we begin our second half. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So here's the Tennessee offense getting ready to start our third quarter. They'll try to get that ground game established better than they did in the opening half, Brock. See if they can attack that deficit. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Off the play fake. He'll throw. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. So now here's third and five. Looking to the air here. That's caught for the first. And he's going to be blocked down at the 42. He gets a pick up of 14 yards as the chains reset. Such a terrific job by the receiver. You can't give that route away. You've got to run a curl. And the best like curl and go, hook and go, out and up, guys, Kate, they run that initial route full speed. He did. Got the defense to bite. And the plate went right over his head. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. That's brought in by Westbrook again. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. They get 13 on the pickup. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. That's just a gorgeous corner route by the wide receiver. I bet you'll find, Kate. In the annals of football history, the best corner route runners as receivers are also the best slant runners, the best post runners, because it's all about change of direction, and that was put on display right there. Has the connection to Ridley. We'll have him gain about a handful there. Christian Gonzalez getting there for the tackle. Hey, Kay, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game. When Pete Carroll was there, if he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little out route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. From the 39. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. to throw. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Tried getting it to Calvin Ridley. And that leaves them with fourth and five. Well, I'll tell you this, Kate. That's, that's why you got to be on the same page with one another and get both ends of the play right to execute, both the protection and ultimately completing that ball. They certainly want that play call back. Bring it back to within a score. The lead seven. I know we see these kickers make kicks from this distance all the time, but it never ceases to be impressive. Everything's on the dot, and it's a big three points.
And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. On the return, here's Jones. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Patriots and Jacoby Brissett out again on offense for this next drive. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. First and ten. Gibson here from the gun. He gets it forward for a gain of three. Legereus Sneed there for the stop. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. too early everyone's prepped it's second down now they'll run here following the penalty and he's gonna bring it up to the 40 yard line before he stopped that goes as a four yard pickup and it gets him a first down you know, Coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. Brissett with it on first. Osborne holds it in. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. Did such a good job of not just hitting him in a window on that slant in the right window, but hitting him right in time, right in a spot where he had room to run and add on to that catch. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Now it's Brissett. Just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Here's Stevenson. And he'll get this forward, and he stopped at the 37. A solid eight-yard gain there, and now they're going to have third and two. Stevenson with another carry. And they bring him down around the 34. This one goes for three yards. And the Patriots will have a first down. That's a BYOB. You got to be your own blocker. It would have taken the entire defense piling on to stop him from getting that first down. Well done. They stick with Stevenson here on first. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up Look to the sideline in his own line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Shotgun now for Brissett. Henry on the catch. And that will not be enough for a first down. Coming up now. Operating 
from the gun. Brissette. On the left side. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's a New England first down. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can come in there and there's nothing this defense can do. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. From the red zone now. Short throws dropped. This one's incomplete. Looks like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. And it's going to be second down. They'll send him over right. Hands into the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. You know, when receivers have room to operate, that's a play that can totally gash a defense. The kid, when you get down here in the red zone, it becomes so much tougher because you have a whole lot less space. And in fact, you'll see defenses swarm like that one just did. Third down, it's Brissett. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Fourth down is going to bring out Joey Sly and the Patriots field goal unit for the first time. He's looking 30, 40 yards here down the middle. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. So many of these players on the field, Kate, they just strive for consistency, but not the kickers. They strive for perfection, and so far, he's just that. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. Here's Chestnut on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So now here comes the Titans on offense. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. They're out and set. First and ten. Throwing from the gun. He's going to loft one deep to the left. Brought in inside the 20. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. You can't start a fire without a spark. How about a lightning bolt? What a huge game that totally changes the tone of the drive. So a massive gain, and all of a sudden, we've got first and ten inside the red zone. Short side option here. He's one and left. And he has this one down to the eight-yard line. Not that he needed to, but he'll always try and remind people that he's a threat running it in addition to slinging it all over the field. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now it's toss. It's Pollard. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, they were hoping. They were hoping to get outside and meet those guys at the second level. Well, someone from the second level came to beat him on his turf. And that meeting didn't go so well. Here they come. This is third and five. Throwing from the gun here. And he's there to knock away the pass and force a fourth down. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can't get the pick, at least make sure a catch isn't made. That's the job of every defender out there. 
and he made sure that one wasn't completed. So the Titans left with a fourth down, and we're going to see Nick Folk after the try. A very short kick here from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll bring it back to within a score. The lead seven. Listen, all he could do is make the kicks he's called out there to make. They need extra points from him, but for now, he's able to handle his third field goal of the game and just inch them a little bit closer. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. On the return, here's Gibson. His return makes it up to the 25. The Patriots are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. Starts out with a first and ten. Receiver in motion, headed right. Starting on the ground here with Stevenson. And he found some running room for a nice game. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Second and three now. From the 32. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Loose laid it down to approach here from the 40. The give inside to Stevenson. No one around. He's got space. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a pickup of 26. And the Patriots will have a first down. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond. Here's first and 10 from the 34. From the shotgun, Brissett. No place to go, so he just threw it away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now a shotgun handoff to Stevenson. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard game. Tackled there by Jerome Baker. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. Reset looking to throw. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. He picks up 15 on the play. And that's a New England first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Working inside the red zone. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. It's second down. A 
get up the middle of the Gibson. And he has this one down to the eight yard line. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. This, our last play of the quarter. Stevenson, and he's brought down for a loss. We'll see them tackle second and goal to the break. It's the Patriots with it. Currently with a not quite so comfortable lead to start the four. Loss it's second and goal from the five. The give inside to Gibson. And he gets in. Touchdown. The Patriots go up by two scores. 13 points in the fourth. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Your slide and try the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Patriots double their lead to 14. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. Here's Chestnut on the return. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. Their offense ready to take the field now. They managed three on their last drive, but down inside the red zone, disappointing not to come away with a touchdown. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Up the middle, here goes Pollard. And he'll come up with a gain of three on the run up the middle. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. to throw. That pass complete to Boyd. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now.
First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. He fires one deep down the middle. Oh, and he can't follow through. He had the deep shot for a moment, Brock, but he bobbled it and drops it. Well, this will actively age a coach on the sidelines. Wrinkles and gray hair, all of it. All the planning, a great play. A careful execution led to that, and it was dropped to the turf. Second and ten now. Has his man, it's Ridley. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. They give to Pollard from the gun. And this one does not go far. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. They'll try and throw it here. They'll get this complete to Westbrook Akine. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Hand off running right. Pollard. And then going to bring him down at the 39-yard line. Only one yard for them, and now we'll see what they decide to do on fourth and short. You know, I'm not sure what else could have been done there, Kate. Just the right call defensively to come up with a third and short stop. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. They'll run for this. Make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37 yard line. They only needed a couple, and that is what they got. Not the most impressive gain, but a big one as they get the first. He's not their bell cow. He's not a breakaway type of runner, but he didn't need to be. He just had to get forward and reach the first down before the defense could pivot and stop him. To throw it on first down. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. I think everybody in the building was already thinking about the next play to run as they watched that short throw to the tight end. That's a gimme. You don't expect to see many of those dropped. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. He's going to throw this one. Oconco brings it in. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. They'll get 18 yards there. And the Titans will have a first down. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them, along with everybody else. First down from the red zone. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. He'll throw it yet again. Short pass brought in. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out. This really isn't a route designed for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. But any time you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. Here he goes on the bootleg. Too far out of the back of the end zone it goes, incomplete. 
Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Trying the inside hand off to Pollard. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with a the loss, and make a difficult fourth down decision. Buckle up. It's third and goal. Setting up a throw. Slant route as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends. Made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. You got to have a whole lot more physicality at the point of attack because a QB is always going to be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. Full con now to try the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Titans check the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. On the return, here's Gibson. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. And after that touchdown, cut their lead back to one score, Brock. A response in order as they take over. ready to begin this drive first and ten drive starts with a carry by Stevenson and he's able to power this forward but they stop him after two yards if there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL <laughs> I think we just saw it right there that's an uneventful run and pretty sound stop there defensively eight yards to go well, let's see how they approach this second down It looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. All right, here we go. Second down. Running it after the penalty. Duke the defender. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. It's a gain of four. And the Patriots will have a first down. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in the pocket for a later occasion. This is Stevenson heading right. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. They say about great outfielders in baseball, there's just something to them. They've got a knack to feel an instinct to take the right line, the right angle. For safeties to create tackles for loss in the run game, it's the exact same attribute and skill set. Got to take that right angle and then go finish that runner. Here's Gibson on second down. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. I gotta really rack my brain, Kate, to remember a play, a run in this league that nice that doesn't end up getting an offense the first down. He did all he could to wheel this drive forward. Third and a lone yard coming up. Throwing now, percent. wasn't 
on the line with that series. <laughs> but don't tell the defense because they brought the urgency and juice like it was. Getting the sack, setting up fourth down, well, it picks everybody up on that sideline. And now their offense gets a chance in a one-score game. Hunt team on the field. Bryce Barringer, the one to send it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. The Titans and Mason Rudolph about ready to get back to work on offense. drive will start out with a first and ten. They'll come out throwing. Pass cut by Ridley. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. To throw here on first down. That throw finds Okonkwo. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. You put up the combine times of tight ends running a 40-yard dash, and they certainly don't run as fast as the safeties or the corners in this league. But when you get them going in the right direction and you get them dragging across the field like that, well, they could still do their damage. They give to Pollard on the option. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. They get six and a first down as well. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. Ball on the 45, first and 10. And he's short of the first after a mild game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 39. Hawkins isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. That's the two-minute warning here in Nashville. Titans losing by seven. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. He'll throw it. Complete beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 27 on the play. And the Titans will have a first down. I really like the timing of that screen call to the perimeter. Get the ball in space to operate and turns into a nice game. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Into the hands of Okonkwo. Plays brought to a halt, they're going to say, at the five-yard line. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout, so that's their first. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Touchdown here late in the game, 
Brock. Now the question, play for the tie or go for two and the lead? And I know they've got all these charts and numbers and analytics to tell you what to do, but this comes down to the <laughs> gut and the trust of the head coach. Does he trust his offense more to go get this two-point conversion, or is he going to lean in his defense and believe that they can get the stop? In the 11th hour, now a point after try to tie this game. And everyone can breathe easier now. His try is good, and they found a way to tie it late in the fourth. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. On the return, here's Jones. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Patriot offense making their return to the field. And even with some time left, Brock, a long ways to go to get into range for a game winner. They're going to need to move it in a hurry. From the jaws of defeat, they snatch this game away. And now we're off in overtime to decide it. Here's Chestnut on the return. 
Past midfield, and he's got space. It's a foot race. And he's just a little gas shy of taking that the distance, but not too far off. What a return out of the 11. You know, Kate, it's fun talking to these elite kick returners over the years and how much they visualize as they're sitting back there waiting for the kickoff return. They're visualizing, well, a house call. And there was some serious explosiveness from him on that one. He may not have gotten all the way to the house, but he's setting his offense up in the red zone, which is pretty darn good. Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the gun, they go with Pollard. And he only gets this one down to the nine. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Trying to throw here out of the gun. And he'll score! Touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans just need two snaps to steal the lead. Hulk on now to try the point after. The extra point is good, and that's a big one. Now their defense just has to defend a seven-point lead here in overtime. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. On the return, here's Jones. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Patriots offense all set to go. tape in their own ways. The linebackers, well, they're a little bit like quarterbacks. They got to develop that sixth sense by watching that tape so they can diagnose and get home in a hurry like he just did. All plays on the table here for third and three. Shotgun now for Brissett. Walking a tight rope there, but he makes the ground and bounds. That's a pickup of nine. And that's a New England first down. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally, but really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. We're set now on first and ten. He lost it, deep left. And they can't connect on the deep look. So a couple of snaps to play with, though, here. He got second down. There was a window there for a moment, but boy, did they close the gap before that throw could arrive. Couldn't 
connect on first. It's second down. Back to the air. Brissett. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. to make the catch, putting his body on the line, diving for the ball. He earned that reception and some warm targets in the immediate future. They're setting with it on first. He's on the move. Now here he goes. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. Spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now a toss headed right. It's Stevenson. And he'll get this down to the 33 yard line. Two yards on the pickup. And that's a New England first down. Okay, I'll give some credit to the defense there. Limited the game to the outside, contained it for minimal yardage. But it was going to be tough to stop him from getting a first down as close as they were to the sticks. On first down, it's Brissett. Trying to connect, but it winds up incomplete. That one intended for Demario Douglas. So it's second down coming up. Here, Brissett throwing all the way to the end zone here. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. You know, down here in the red zone, there was a touchdown on the line. You really want to read the quarterback's eyes as a defender. Make sure you know where that throw is going and get a position to swat it away. That is well done. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Operating from the gun, Brissett. You need to buy your receivers enough time to get open along your route, and your quarterback enough time to find and hit them with the throw. When the line doesn't hold up, and completions follow. Big moment here in overtime. Fourth down, and the offense is out there. Off the play fake, reset. Buys time, rolling right. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. You know, these fourth down plays are all about trust. You lean into what you do best. Unfortunately, with the lack of execution, you're going to throw that one off the playlist. So this one's got a win for the Titans. And it took some extra effort, Rob, some bonus. 